it's still down here in the river bottom. I got bug stuff on and they're still all over me. Listen to all the birds. I'm armed today. I got John's AR. I came down here yesterday and there were pigs. So I'm thinking I might put a dent in their numbers with this AR. Just keep this buzzing my ears. I'm just gonna take the same route I took yesterday. We do have a hurricane, well not a hurricane, a tropical depression in the Gulf, it's making landfall right about now. It'll be up here in the next 24 hours. We're gonna get a lot of rain. It's coming. I don't see anything. Boy, it's nice out here. See a pig? I don't. I would whack, walk back to the river, but I think it's just a little bit too muddy. It will be after it starts raining. This is swampy back here. This ground is wet. Back around to the truck, get a water, and do my second leg. That's where I spooked cows out yesterday. <laughs> Stampede over there. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. There's the deer. I know you can't see them, but they're headed that way. You just see their heads bobbing above the grass every once in a while. There they go. See them tails? There's about six or seven of them. Somewhere. <laughs> There's my little doe. I bet she's got a baby in here somewhere. That's probably the same one I saw yesterday. See her most every day, right underneath that Osage orange tree. Horse apple, big one. Well, good morning. A buck, I think. Didn't I see horns? I believe I did. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big boy. Yeah, he's looking good now, isn't he? Those antlers are growing good. I wonder which one that is. Might be able to tell later. Oh yeah, he's growing good. All by himself. You never know, that might be the one that grows into a big one next year. And I'm gonna disturb the peace. Piggies. Piggies, piggies, piggies. A bunch of them and there's some good ones in there all right piggies prepare to meet your maker i think they winded me Saw those pigs and checked on my two beehive bee traps. No bees yet. So I'm gonna come up on this pasture and hook back around and end up back where I started. Jetty and clear some of this out, make it a little easier for me to walk through here. So I can be quiet, be quieter. You 
You're the neighbor's old Will. There we go. Here we go. Come right out on on the open. Just a few spider webs blocking my way. It's always fun. And the question is, do I stay along this edge or do I go up, up along that edge? I think I'm going to stay on high ground. Go up along this edge. Man, this grass is so high. If they were out there, you couldn't even see them. Well, that's even more reason to stay on the high ground. Tell you what, let's just stay on the cattle trail. <laughs> Goes right down the middle. Not the best approach if you want to shoot something. But it sure is a lot easier walking. It's just barely a trail. You gotta look close. If those pigs are here, you're just not gonna see them. But I do have a wind advantage going this direction. You know, I'm still mowing. done this track a bunch glasses keep fogging up I'm gonna get me some contacts so I don't have to deal with that my distance vision is more important here a pair of contacts would work a heck of a lot better the lenses on these glasses they fog up and then you can't see can't see without them can't see with them I think I'm going to try some contacts this year. It's coming up on 8 o'clock. I've been walking for about two hours. Not quite. But this is tough. This is tough walking through this stuff. It's tall. Difficult to walk through. You gotta pick your feet up. Getting my exercise today. Look right here. Here's some Mustang grapes. And they're ripe. See that? See that? The haul on these things is real. Oh, yeah. Sour, but good. Look at all of them. That bush is loaded with them. Most of them aren't ripe yet. Some of these are. Good. I'll just cut across the pasture this way. No need to make it easy on myself. The idea is to get exercise. I don't know where that deer is at. There she is. I knew she'd be around here somewhere. That's Melba. Hello. How are you? I know she can smell me. She's directly downwind from me. Hopefully she doesn't have her baby in, in my path. I'm gonna walk across the pasture and head up to the house. Take a look at things up on top of the hill. John will probably be getting close to finish by then. I bet she's got her baby in here somewhere. Probably up around this tree. Old horse apple tree. 100% coverage in the canopy keeps anything from growing underneath it this place has just got tracks everywhere I imagine the cows and everything spend time under here seems to be bug free too I'm not getting I'm not getting eaten up by bugs I don't know why that would be 
There's a bow in there somewhere. That's Osage Orange horse apple. I think some people call it yellow wood. But that makes a really good bow. Now let's go up to the house. Everything looks okay at the hill and the house. Now let's circle back around and get back to the truck. One more high pasture to go across. One more. And this is tall grass. But that's it for me today. Man, I've walked a bunch. I've got my exercise to the point where I'm going to have to go back to the house and take a shower and get cleaned up. I'm covered in sweat. And I'm sure bugs. I sprayed up real good today before I started. Right, let's hoof it across this pasture and get back to the truck. You can't see anything. I mean, this is this stuff's up to my waist, 36 inches tall. Hardly a path through it. Wow. already on the road and it gets out and he stops and looks at us Ooh, I can't hold still why is that road like a safe spot I don't know oh look at the baby oh there's a little baby little spotty baby didn't even see that little dude couldn't see him over the tall weeds Did you get a picture of him? oh yeah video that's the first one things quite a bit.
bigger. Not much. Big goop. Hear him croaking. Go ahead and just give up. died the canopy went away and it let sunlight in and boy when that happens mix that with a little bit of rain and pow you've got greenery I would imagine that that's good for the deer too not for a lot for deer to browse on I don't know for sure but that's the theory anyway across that field. One of them is a buck in there. Yeah, horns. Yeah. Just ran out of those trees. Let's go investigate. I think it was a cow. Probably another deer. Something was in here. It is so humid, my glasses are fogging up. I need to get contacts. I could see so much better with contacts and they wouldn't fog up. Here little piggy piggy, where are you? Man, it's still this morning. Very still. Took a different route on them. They didn't expect me to come from over here. They expected me to come down the road. I didn't. I cut across the pasture. On the way to the front. Well, I'm glad it was deer and not pig, because that would have bothered me if I'd spooked them. And not got a shot at them. Got a little baby with her today. Look at that little dude. Mama and her little bitty baby. Look at that little dude. What do that? I do not know. I think that little guy laid down over there, so I'm gonna see if I can't sneak up. Oftentimes mama will run away, but the baby will stay put because they don't have much scent. It's their defense, so I'm going to see how close I can get. so much to see 
out there in the morning, it is the best way to spend the day. I can keep an eye on all these animals and watch them develop. It's always nice to take a break and go do something else. Fishing's going to be good all summer. This much water, the lake is threatening to go back over again, so they cut the spillway off while the Brazos River uh, takes all that flood water from Tropical Storm Bill. I thought that was kind of interesting. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.